So, Season 27. What are Death Nova Spirits? How does the seasonal mechanic function? Step 1. Find an Angel Crucible. These can be consumed to create a sanctified item. Upon creation, among other things, these sanctified items are given one of three random seasonal class-based effects. The sanctified item effect we are focusing on in this video is concerning Death Nova Spirits, the Necromancer class. So, the too long didn't watch version of this is that these spirit procs create projectiles that can deal single target damage. They can proc from both the player cast and the simulacrum cast novas. Iron Rose Novas can proc them also. Damage will scale with the Blood Tide Blade, the same DPS as your Death Nova, basically. You can get around 60% DPS increase in single target scenarios from this mechanic. However, targeting is seemingly random, so it's not a very useful mechanic in its current state. My feedback is to make the targeting sticky to your Blood Siphon target so that the spirits will seek out uh, this specific target. That will make them actually useful in killing elites and even the Rift Guardian. And as I'll get into later, in a push scenario, we still want density, right? So anyways, uh, let's get going. The notes for the patch notes list Hitting enemies with Blood Nova, sorry, Death Nova, five consecutive times adds a spirit that afflicts an enemy every fifth cast of Death Nova. Up to three spirits can be sent at a time. Now this statement is very confusing, so I'm going to go through the mechanics and you'll see what they actually mean and what it actually does. So let's proceed. So what does this actually do? After five casts of Nova, it creates three spirit projectiles that originate from either the player or the simulacrum that was casting Nova. Visually, spirit Nova projectiles are covered in bone, blood, and sinew. The art is similar to corpses created by the necromancer or the possession rune on bone spirit. Projectiles deal single target damage. They spawn near the player or simulacrum that cast the Nova that proc them, and seek out a seemingly random target within that range. They do not seek out your primary Blood Siphon target, even if you are using the Funerary pick. Projectiles appear to travel at a moderate speed, similar to the speed that Bone Spirit will travel. Nova explosions for player and simulacrums are counted separately and individually towards the total requirement for proc. This means your simulacrum's procs for the Nova Spirit projectiles can be out of sync with your own Nova Spirit projectile procs because uh, they're a certain distance away from you in the rift and they're, if you recall from our Death Nova Mechanics video, their AoE is smaller than yours so it's going to vary. Each tally requires at least one target within a Blood Nova explosion radius to increase its count towards a proc. Spirit Nova procs appear to benefit from the Blood Tide Blade multiplier, which counts the number of targets within a 25 yard radius. The multiplier is snapshot for each projectile at the moment of spawn. This means if you move away or kill targets with your Nova attacks, it will not lower the damage of your Spirit Nova projectiles. It'll stay the same, which is pretty darn cool if you ask me. Here you can see a picture showing two sets of Spirit Nova projectile spawns as I was running to the top right of the screen. Note how the bottom left target took a sim significantly more damage than the closer target. This is because the Blood Tide Blade was snapshot for each instance and in the first occurrence it counted two targets instead of one target within that 25 yard radius. Manually cast Novas that proc Spirit Nova projectiles are eligible to proc area damage. So this is pretty nice. Uh, for example, you can see a still frame capture here showing an area damage proc based on a 36% area damage equipped uh, test. Now as far as I can tell, manually cast Novas that originally from simulacrums are not eligible for area damage, however. But it's very difficult to test this since our own manually cast Nova procs are also intermingling right next to the, you know, procs of 
the simulacrums, it's difficult to tell. However, uh, for sure, uh, when the Iron Rose propped spirit Nova projectiles are hitting targets, both the player originated and simulacrum originated projectiles don't appear to proc area damage. Alright, so that's it for the mechanics rundown. I'll move into some analysis here. A few thoughts. So here we have a mechanic that deals the same amount of damage as our own Death Nova and only occurs after five Novas but can be procced separately from our own sim simulacrums, which is pretty nice. However, uh, it's a single target ability with limited potential for area damage and it only procs once per five Novas. It can fire a volley of three projectiles though, which is a little benefit. However, uh, I think this mechanic is mostly intended for single target. It's not going to be blasting elites in the rift because it emulates Nova damage and scales with the blood type blade, an AoE item and ability combination, right? Yet itself is only a single target ability. On top of this, it doesn't focus fire your siphon blood targets. It targets randomly. So currently its primary use will be versus single target Rift Guardians with the Iron Rose Simulacrum build. That's an extra 9 damage instances per every 15. This means we get about 60% increase in DPS versus single target Rift Guardians. Well, this is great use for speeds where the majority of encounters will feature a single target Rift Guardian. For pushing, this will not be the case. Uh, historically, on a high-end push with this build, we don't usually engage single target Rift Guardians. We want Rift Guardians with lots of little mobs and one to two pylon spawns, with one of those being a power pylon and the elites that spawn using our emanated Nemesis Bracer have to have the illusionist elite affix so that they spawn even more minions that are healthy and therefore uh, will count towards our multiplier via the blood tide plate in the rift guardian battle this will increase our dps significantly combined with that power pylon will be really nice while our blood siphon is a slow stricken stacker at least it's consistently stacking stricken on the rift guardian target even in a multi-target scenario this, combined with the Illusionist targets, is really what's going to take down the Rift Guardian. Perhaps the changes to the Funerary pick placing a more single target focus will allow us to clear single target Rift Guardians more readily. However, my guess is that because the Blood Tide Blade still scales with the same uh, density requirements and the Spirit Mechanic's damage is also based on the Blood Tide Blade, we will continue to seek out dense Rift Guardian engagements over prioritizing the Spirit Nova projectiles in a you know single target scenario. So we're still gonna seek out density. We're not gonna go for that ST DPS on the high end push, right? In summary, well I think this mechanic will help those single target engagements feel a bit better. The density is still king. Now for some feedback, what can we do to improve this? My feedback is to change the targeting of the spirit projectiles. Have them seek out blood siphon targets as you're actively casting blood siphon. If no blood siphon is present at the time of the projectiles spawn, it can revert back to targeting randomly. This would allow us to more readily focus down elites during the rift and also uh, rift guardians within the rift that are taking a long time to kill, which I think is the focus of this ability because it's only spawning once, you know, five, five Novas, that takes a while to do, right? Uh, it should uh, be that like backup that really helps you 
deal with these single targets. But in the current state, it's not really performing in that. Uh, if we change it so that it's focusing down your targets, this would make the mechanic feel better overall, at least for the, the version of the build that uses the Iron Rose and Blood Siphon, right? Anyways, that's about it for this video. If you enjoyed, please drop a like and subscribe. I'll leave you with this clip from my LOD Blood Nova push from Season 21. While I have been leveling a Necromancer on the PTR, I haven't quite gotten him yet to test this build, uh, geared up and ready. So hopefully some footage for that build in the PTR to come soon.